tonight. From Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Santa Clara and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25 veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense I think Aaron Rodgers one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self because coming out of high school he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level went to a junior college went to Cal and just blew up there and then, of course, is a first-round draft pick, but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round, and then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot. Now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. Rogers. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Seven-yard pickup. But a good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. For the Packers and Niners, this, of course, a rematch of the NFC Championship game from a year ago. And that game belonged to the 49ers. You might remember Raheem Mostert. Boy, he really made a name for himself in that one. 220 yards on the ground, four touchdown runs in the 37-20 victory that sent the 49ers to Miami. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. Fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep, Trent Taylor. <laughs> 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The former second-round pick back in 2014, Jimmy Garoppolo trotting into place, looking to guide this San Francisco 49er offense. And when Jimmy Garoppolo came out of Eastern Illinois, many people saw a strong-armed guy, well-schooled in the passing game, who needed a little bit of time to develop and reach his potential. Starting to go in that direction right now, a former linebacker in high school, he plays the game with a lot of toughness. 
Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 24. He'll throw from the gun. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Jarek McKinnon. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. run got a couple here second and eight first carry for Raheem Mostert call it a gain of five that time and they'll be left with a third and about four the quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game that's a gain of five brings up third and four Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Four yards. That's another 49er first down. First and goal at the nine-yard line. First and goal. Here's Mostert. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Tackling's obviously critical down near the goal line. That was great work there to make the hit behind the line and make sure he doesn't get any further. Did a really nice job wrapping up and not letting him loose. Back to the 10, they'll try on second and goal here. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 11. He's at the 50. He's at the 30, 20. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. 
Ah, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski was an interception. different things for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. Mason you don't want it to be a too many syllables. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. And it's good to make it 7 0 Packers. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Richie James on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Richie James on the return. The Niners take over first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, Mostert. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. We've caught a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. He'll let this go deep for Bourne. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Intended for Marquez Valdez Scantling. Incomplete. Jimmy Ward there defensively. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. 
Shotgun now for Rodgers. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Sideline and incomplete. Brings up fourth down. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the left hash, this from 34. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. The score, Packers 10, 49ers nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Here's James. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. First down pass play, second and three. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And yeah, he'll get up near the 45, they'll spot it at the 44. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. First down. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. going to give to Mostert and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line a loss on that play and now third down gets tougher third and six we think Brandon I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives they're not just holding the line because they're doing their job but they're doing more than that aren't they they're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield and a great example right there for the loss on the tackle Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Garoppolo looks to throw. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Tyler Irvin back deep. 
There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now the Packers get set to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. Rogers. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. <laughs> Throwing is Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw again, Rodgers. And he'll look for Adams again, and this time he's got him. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 24-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer that's a jet sweep this is Adams tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart defensively they had that one pretty well figured out yeah and one of the things about this play it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off Coming up on a second and six. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. We've hit the two minute mark of the first half, 10-0 our score. Coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. It's caught. Jones. 
And he is going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And eight yards. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll contain him to just four, second down. That's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. To throw again on second down. Rodgers, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Rodgers again now, and he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Rodgers connecting with Equinemius St. Brown. And the Packers add six to their lead. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they fake the run, pull it out, throw it. And as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one. Now Crosby for the point after. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result, a Green Bay score. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. down throw. That's complete to his receiver, Ayuk. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. First and 10 here, you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Garoppolo. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it a second down. 
Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo, a dump down to McKinnon. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo got the connection here to Bourne. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 25 yards that time. 15-yard line. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports halftime report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Mr. Aaron Rodgers. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. sports and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20 at their own 20 yard line here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter and that first half one to forget really on both sides of the ball they got to find some way to string something together here don't they yeah they're down big right now so as you mentioned trying to find something to string together get some consistency something sustained maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one yeah because right now you're down big you're being shut out let's see if this is the drive that kind of kick starts them Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Garoppolo give him nine there on the first down completion. Samuel. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 30-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Moster. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. You gotta figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, they'll run it with Moster. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. They end up getting stuck twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. 
He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion, Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at the 34. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Again, it's Jones, and very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards, first down Packers. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Rodgers throwing complete to Valdez Scantling. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second and one at the Niners' 30-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, I would have figured up to the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. They'll go to 
Jones. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. No gain on the play. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll run it with Jones. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run it with Jones. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 17-yard line. That's the end of the third quarter. Of One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Jones. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Aaron Jones. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Slant to Adams. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now Jones. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll try again with Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers add on to their lead. The touchdown was scored by the runner. But the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly. Allowed him easy access to the end zone. Extra point try now for Crosby. And the lead is now 24. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones.
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Now James returning. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 30. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at about the 32. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Strike, they'll look to throw under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43 yard line. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. You never want to give up a sack from the O line's perspective. They hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Garoppolo on first down. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Open man is born. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. 
Garoppolo looks to throw once more to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. George Kittle from Jimmy Garoppolo. And the 49ers get a score closer. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but... They haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Now Garoppolo and the Niners will come up and go for two. Garoppolo again. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. That keeps the score. Packers Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I represent, like, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... Oh, I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a like game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Silicon Valley.